Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Closer Look reading for March 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Also, this may resonate as yours or your person's moon rising and Venus sign. Alright, Aquarius, let's take a closer look here. What's going on? Closer look for Aquarius. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Four of Swords. Yay. Nothing wrong with that. Re oh. Two of Cups. Well, okay then. Ten of Swords. What? Seven of Cups. The Magician. Um, Gemini, Aries, or Virgo. Two of Swords. What? Ten of Wands. Okay, so we got... Mm. So this was an agreed upon thing. Not like you're happy about it, but you're this... Okay. So... <clears throat> there we go. Did you two just decide to take a break to end things? Um, you're needing some time to think, Aquarius. You need a break. For the Aquarians I'm reading for, you need a break. This has been a lot. Um, hmm. you, you both understand what and why, but this is just this. You know what though? And I, I think there's been an, a huge argument and then like a whoosh, Like I think, um, hmm. I don't know that this happened all that recently. I mean, we're, I think this feels like around two months-ish. Inside of two, either two months or inside of two months. So that jumped. Ace of Swords. Both of you are taking some time to see things clearly here. What's this Two of Cups? So that's kind of promising. This is Two of Cups for Aquarius. Two of Pentacles. Okay. What's this Ten of Swords? Queen of Pentacles, that could be Capricorn. This is Seven of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Is this Magician? This magician, this, this, it seems like there was this, a fight or something, like things were said, you know, there was an intensity, this separation or, or parting. What's this magician about? Whoopsie. That jumped. What's this magician about? I'll tell you what though, Aquarius, you need some time to heal. You need to take a break from this mentally. Cause I think this happened a while ago, but I think you're still kind of thinking about this and thinking about this and thinking about this. What's this magician about? Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. That's not too shabby. What's this two of swords? Judgment. Okay. Here's the thing. You're trying to figure out, like, um, not figure out, it feels like for some of you, this just jumped, um, there's a sense of security tied up with connection with this person. And it's like, okay, if not with this person, then what? But I think um, it, that could be for some of you. But I think what it is is that you're wanting to get back to um, your your routine, your life, or you're wanting to keep going with that. I think there's been a question of reconciliation, um, quite possibly, but I don't think you two have been talking. I think you two separately are like thinking about the same things, but I don't think there's talking. I think what's on their mind is um, going over what happened and how it fell out and what was said. And they're, they're needing to take just as much time and rest and figure things out as you are. Um, this is someone that is kind of throwing themselves into work to process this to figure things out, to understand, to try and make sense of it. And you are too. It shows both of you doing that, that your, your escape or your dealing with this is focusing on um, 
making money and providing security and stability and getting in there and getting after it and doing what you do that nobody else does. There's a very, very, um, I don't know, you're, you're the business side of things, a job or whatnot, that's solid and that you're entering a good money cycle. So that's nothing to be upset about, but this, any kind of movement with this person, I think, is on hold. But I think you're both really thinking about this. And I think it's, um, you're just trying to figure out what happened. Honestly, you're, this is, you, if I'm honest, appreciating the reprieve. Because this there was drama there. But you're appreciating the time to be able to really invest and focus on this money making because it's not, you're not slowing down with it. I think it started like in January ish, and it's not slowing down. The better part of this year, if not the whole year, is going to be spent you really like cashing in. So good that you're focusing on that because <laughs> that's not slowing down. Um, and I think that also helps keep this on the back burner for you because you're you're going to want to preserve this. You're not going to want to have to um, kind of keep reprioritizing it like you might have before. What's this 10 of wands here? Two of cups, twice. Okay. All right. What else here? 10 of wands and the two of cups. Wow. Was this a lot of work? Oof. Four of Cups. Not mad at that. I I vote for you staying over here and thinking about things and letting it kind of, you know, be what it's going to be and say what it's going to say. But this is about you solely focused on your security right here in, in spite of the aftermath. Um, you're both needing to process this. This was an intense connection. You're both needing to process this no reconnecting. You've got a huge money cycle coming up that you don't want to mess with or jeopardize. It's been a while since you've had that. And I think for the Aquarians that I'm reading for, you're really looking forward to focusing on that. So this can be put on hold. This right here can be put on hold. Whatever you do, you don't do it lightly. You do it intensely and with purpose. So um, I think there's this, there's kind of the notion that uh, this is going to sound horrible, but that this person not that they were sunk costs, like you put all this effort in and it just didn't pan out, but it didn't amount to, like there was so much effort and so little gained, the connection was fraught. You know what I mean? Like it was never an easy connection. So you're kind of looking back to something that can be, or you're looking forward to getting back to something that can be um, very resourceful or resourcing and that what you put into it, you also get something out of it. This feels like it was a lot of work and it was very draining. And so this is like a welcome reprieve for you to be able to throw yourself into this while you sort your feelings out and you just really take advantage of this money cycle coming up. Because it's it, there was a lot of effort here with very little return and that's that can be very draining. And especially since you prioritize that and put this on hold, this is coming back around again and you're not wanting to lose out. <clears throat> and this is the, okay can I just say too that this feels like whatever this is this is different because you're not I think normally before there might have been a tendency to let this person back in or renegotiate or talk and then you end up where you were um, before and you're not doing that now you're letting the ending stand and you're wanting to think about things while you focus on your life and that's not changing this time around and I think that um, that's what's different here. I think you're prioritizing your life, your stability, your security, your career, your yours, you and your own. You're prioritizing that. There's been a shift. What else for? Hmm. What else for Aquarius? <clears throat> Permanence. Yes. Part of this cycle is you wanting to, whatever you're doing now is going to establish or take root and you don't want it to be fraught with that dynamic that you had with the person before. 
So this is you not wanting, if, if anything's going to be permanent, you're wanting whatever you're doing now to be permanent. So that's where your investment is. Um, with, not with this person because it was just, it was fraught. <laughs> it was just, there was a lot of up and down and back and forth and roller coaster type stuff. And you're just like, nope, I really want to set down roots. I really want to make, you know, I really want to get back to what I did that worked in my life and my day-to-day -day routine and stability and, you know, being able to be spontaneous inside of a routine or whatever, because I have my life so on lock and, and autopilot that I can have time. I can be spontaneous, but it's not without the investment. It's not without like me doing a lot of work to get it back to that. So this is about you prioritizing what will serve you and resource and give back to you not sunk cost and i mean no disrespect to your person but there was a lot of effort here for very little return and you need a break you need a break <coughs> pardon me what else for Aquarius. queen of swords reverse so that could be um libra and we've got i think that's let's see what it okay so it's like that if i Hold on, where's my little dot? I don't see my dot. All right, hold on. Yeah, so that is, I think that's upright. Let me look. I think it's upright. I don't want to get it wrong. Is that up? It is. No, it is not. It is reversed. Okay, so Queen of Swords reversed and the Eight of Wands reversed. Yeah, this, okay. So you two aren't talking anymore. This is not about you looking for answers from your person. This could be somebody that is still kind of in an emotional up and down cycle that they're kind of just all over the place. And because of that, there is no progressing with you two. You do not want the drama. You want the stability and you want to shift course, course correct and get things back on track to where you're creating and manifesting, not reacting and um, managing. So this is you course correcting and you're not dealing with drama and things are the way they are and you're concentrating on your stability and your security. There's been that shift. You're not letting this person come back in and disrupt, disrupt things. Okay. To be fair, they're thinking the same thing. Like you two are kind of thinking the same thing. Only here's the difference. Theirs isn't going to stick and that's, again, no disrespect. But I think you're dealing with somebody that has incredible highs and lows. And so they think they're thinking very similar to you and that they want the stability and they just want to return order. And they want to think about things while they throw themselves into work because work, 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 and it'll help me work things out. But there's, they're lacking the stability. Um, and when things get uncomfortable, they go off on a new adventure and they go here and they get, this is someone very erratic. So um, I think they like the idea of finding comfort in work and routine, but they can't sustain it because it starts to feel too confining and it, it hits them wrong. It's like it makes them feel trapped. It makes them feel like they're losing out on something, that life's gotten boring and it's going to pass them by and they need to go out and be dramatic or do something fun because it's, it's like everything and then it, everything goes along and then it, they feel stifled all of a sudden. Instead of seeing that they're creating the groundwork or, you know, laying the framework for their future and stability and, and when things will be on autopilot so they can have fun and be spontaneous, they, they can't sustain it long enough to see the benefit in the long term. They feel confined. They're worried about getting trapped. They're just, they, oh, they just, need. and that is in every area of their life. Picking fights, being dramatic, being moody, that sort of thing. Can't stay in one place too long. Can't, you know. Okay, I hope this was helpful, Aquarius. Love to you and your person. Um, you two have been through it. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next reading. And you take care and you stay focused on you right now. That's where your priority needs to be. you got a huge money cycle coming in. So all eyes on me. <laughs> all hands on deck. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. You take care.